Hey, how you doing? Wanted to show you my new Cadillac. It's a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood. Got this thing back on the road. Figured I'd make a nice video of it. Got the New York skyline in the background there. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Anyway, here's my Cadillac. It's a 93 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. Forgot to mention it's a Brome. Just got it washed. I know the sun's going down. I'm gonna have to make this quick. Anyway, uh, just recently got this car. Got it back on the road. Uh, never mind those uh, Buick wheel covers. Just had had to have, happen to have some wheels with good tires on them. Got the original uh, alloy brome wheels. I'll put on this. This is a medium garnet red exterior paint. This is uh, some kind of bright red interior color. 93 only. Bright red. It's car. She's got 69,000 miles on the clock, huh? How about that? You know what I'm saying? They don't come any cleaner than that. And take a look at this trunk. Look at this. And look how many bodies you can fit in the back of that, huh? And check this out. Of course, standard. The automatic trunk pull-down feature. Let's go around to the front of the Cadillac. Now, I got this car pretty cheap. And this car was cheap because it's got some problems. I had some problems. As you can see, the bumper's a little bit mangled. I got new bumpers, gonna have to be replaced. Uh, had to replace the headlight, the marker light, the grill. The hood was replaced by the previous owner. This uh, car had a little running with a deer, you know what I'm saying? I don't know uh, which one, but I figure it was probably the Cadillac. Now, this being a 93, a 93 Cadillac, let me show you the back seat here. Of course, it's got the, uh, I got a brown, yeah, that emblem's kind of faded, you know, but hey, what are you going to do, huh? This thing has an almost mint condition interior. I mean, look at this interior. Look at this. Look at this. Leather. Right here, leather. This is original, you know what I'm saying? These things are always ripped up. These are always ripped up right over here. I mean, the driver's seat is the one that's going to take all the wear and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, as I let me get back to my what I was saying up front here, because it's a '93, you know, it's got a uh, it's got the old uh, TBI 350. You know, this 350 is uh, <clears throat> it's got throttle body fuel injection. That's why they call it the TBI throttle body injection 350. It's L05. Anyway, it's a, it's a big, slow revving, you know, boat anchor of a motor, but actually I'm kind of surprised with these uh, 308 gears. This thing actually, you know what? It moves all right. Hey, I mean, it's a Cadillac. It's not in any hurry. You know what I'm saying? The LT11 would be better, sure. You know, but you can't have everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so this car is washed, but... This car needs a lot of detailing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this. Look at this. This thing's been sitting under a freaking pine tree or some shit for years. There's mold on the top. The top is in good shape. Otherwise, there's no rips or anything. Look at this. The water iced up already. <laughs> I gotta get this mold off of here somehow. And then, uh, there are freaking pine needles goddamn coming out of everywhere. Look, there's one in there. Every time I wash this car, goddamn pine needle comes out of it. Yeah, look. More pine needles here. Every time you touch it, the pine needle falls out. Hey, Goomba, what you doing here, huh? Jeez, I always have a freaking alert. Anyway, as you can tell, this fender's a little damaged here. It was actually uh, touching the edge of the hood here. I had to hammer it back out. But uh, I got a new fender. It's going to have to be painted. I got a new bumper. So this thing ought to be looking like a million bucks real soon. You know what I'm saying? Car came. Look, I still I forgot to take that off. It's from, car came from West Virginia. Let's go for a, a fast little ride. Look at this. I got all these lights out finally. That was another reason this car was cheap. Not only, I guess it hit a deer. So that sticker expires in August of 2016. I guess it uh, it hit a deer maybe sometime in 15 or maybe 16. And I think it sat around for a long time. And then the guy I bought it from, it was sitting for about a year. Anyway, uh, when I got it, it had several blown brake lines. 
know, this car's got traction control. I mean, hey, it's a Cadillac, right? Stop of the line, right? So it's got traction control, which means it's got two lines going to the rear. So uh, both of those lines were blown and uh, just elected to replace absolutely all the brake line with some nice rust proof NICOP. You know what I'm saying? Rust proof. We live in New York. I live in Jersey, okay? We get salt on the road, we get snow, all right? It's not as bad as New England, like uh, Massachusetts or Boston up there. You know what I mean? They get a lot of they get a lot of that shit. We don't, but this still rusts out. So, got to keep the car washed. Probably going to clean up the underside. It's This car is really rust-free right now. It's not like, you know, Las Vegas rust-free or something, but it's nice. Going to have to... Uh, Maybe I'll undercoat it or something like that. I just wanted to get this thing on the road. I bought it in the beginning of November. I spent about a month fixing it up. Uh, you know, I had to replace, like I said, the brake lines. I had to replace an oxygen sensor. The check engine light was coming on intermittently. Um, and uh, what else do I have to do? Oh, yeah. How can I forget? I had to replace the power steering lines. One of them was blown when I got the car. And uh, ended up having to replace the power steering pump because the line for the return on the back of the reservoir, you know, it's welded on or soldered on or whatever. It was, uh, it was rotted. Poured like, uh, put the new lines in, started pouring the, the power steering fluid in there, and all of a sudden it's stumping out on the ground, you know? I was like, hey, what is this? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, no brakes. Actually, I think one of the front brake lines was blown too. Now that I remember, both brake lines in the rear and, uh, one brake line in the front. So this thing pretty much had absolutely no brakes. So, uh, yeah, I think the most of the brake lines, you can see these nice new uh, night cop brake lines here, huh? Look at this, huh? Doesn't that look beautiful, huh? That's a beautiful thing. Anyway, they, uh, the original lines were rotted right in there, you know? Where these stupid clips are. I think it was down there where the clip is on the frame. <clears throat> anyway, so... Uh, didn't want to forget that, so this car was pretty much absolutely undrivable when I got it. I had to get it delivered, which the guy I bought it from was nice enough to do. Thank God, because my original plan was to go up there, get this thing fixed up enough to drive, and then try to bring it back home to Jersey. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, let's see, what else did I have to do? Oh yeah, I had to replace a uh, uh, the back window. It was held up with a wooden shim. You get that a wooden shim anyway. Had to replace the back window rollers, they were all snapped. Hey, there's New York again. Hey, New York, all right. Anyway, uh, other than that, you know, change the oil. That's about it. Uh, this car rides, I was expecting to probably have to do shocks, but man, this car rides buttery smooth. I'm talking floats, man, you know. This thing, you know me, you know I got the Buick Roadmasters and stuff. This thing makes it feel like a piece of shit. Cause it's that much better. The ride on this, on these Cadillacs, got the variable ratio power steering, which I think is dead in my Roadmaster. Yeah, but that's about it. Oh yeah, brake hoses. I figure if I'm gonna mess with the lines I'm gonna bleed the brakes I'm gonna replace all the hoses so all the hoses have been replaced that comes on a lot I think I may need to replace the rear shocks just because I don't think they're holding air the way they're supposed to but you know what hey for the money you know what this Cadillac is pretty cool pretty fantastic anyway the sun's going down which means I'm out of time but I hope you enjoyed this look at my uh, 93 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome and I will uh do some more updates once I do a little bit more work to it. You know, get the fender replaced, the bumper replaced, and uh, get the original brome alloy wheels back on there, made with some nice wide whites. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that looks sweet. But uh, until then, you know, take care of yourselves, okay? And I'll, uh, I'll see you around New York, all right? Have a good night.